Hey guys, it's Justine, and today I am so excited because we are in the bathroom doing a very special unboxing of this right here. This is the Naked 3D Body Scanner. Now it sounds a little scandalous, but I think one of the most important things to keep in mind is when you are on some sort of fitness journey, whether you're trying to lose weight, build muscle, being able to take all of your measurements into account, just not weight, is something that is very, very important. So with this, you're gonna be able to get a very extremely accurate representation of your current body and track your progress just using your phone. Okay, should we get started, Jen? Oh yeah. Oh boy. This is something that has been in development since 2015 and guess what? Pre-orders are finally shipping and we're gonna be unboxing one right now. Please download the Naked app before unboxing. I already didn't follow the instructions. This is a huge box. <laughs> Here we are. This is the mirror portion of this whole contraption. Oh, wow, 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 wow! So these run about $1,300, shipping is $100. <laughs> hmm. so looks like we have several pieces here but it doesn't look like installation is gonna be very difficult. Wow, is this, <laughs> this is heavy. Never cut towards yourself. <laughs> Never cut towards yourself. <laughs> I'm still doing it. <laughs> Shoot, okay, cut away. I am dusting the floor, first of all. This is packaged very nice. Whoa! Whoa. This looks nice. This is something that I wish that I would have had back, I guess, probably the end of February. I am not proud of it, but I really didn't work out for about two years. I was probably in the absolute worst shape of my life. Jenna can definitely uh, vouch for that because the first hike that we went on, I thought I was dying. I actually thought I was having a heart attack. I was like looking at my Apple Watch and I was like, I I don't think I'm well. So I am still in the early stages of my fitness journey here, so this is gonna be cool to kind of track my current progress. The progress that I have previous, I was using one of the regular Wi-Fi scales, so I have that data, but I'm not sure how accurate that is because those are really only able to track your weights. They say that they can kind of take into account like your body mass, but I'm not sure how that all works. What else is in here? Carpet feet. So it looks like you can use this on different types of floors. Wow, is this heavy? So this is why it's so heavy. Holy moly. I'd say this is about 15 pounds. Carpet feet. Look at that! These are little carpet feet. I'm not gonna be putting this on carpet. This looks so good. So this is why it tells you to download the app before you unbox it. I've got that one. It's telling you not to set it up by the shower. And guess what I have done? <laughs> You're not gonna leave it there though. I'm not gonna be leaving it here, but this is for the sake of the demo. I do have it next to the shower, but this is something that you are not supposed to do. It says that moisture can damage naked sensors. So this, for the sake of this video, is set up here. I will be moving it. We're to where I've left off. Now I've learned all the things that I've done wrong. Mmm. Definitely download the app before you open the box. I'm doing what I was supposed to do the first time. This is very well designed. I, like, really cool. So with the Intel x86 processor, four gigs of RAM, and the Intel RealSense 3D depth cameras, this gives you enough power to give you some very high resolution 3D scans of your body. Oh, look, you charge the scale through the mirror. There's USB-C at the bottom. I didn't even know that was under there. Please make sure the mirror and USB are connected. Okay, it is. This will take about 10 minutes. Please make sure your scanner and scale are connected. Do I need to stay here? No, you're free to roam about your home. All right. Where are you gonna go? I don't know, I'll probably sit here and watch it. It's been updated. We didn't do anything since. Unplug and I'll store the charging table. Okay, congrats. Now go take your first scan. All right. Oh, oh, loose clothes. Oh, geez. You're covered head to toe clothes right now. I know. Hair, I gotta pull my hair up, okay. I'm gonna pull, I'll pull my hair up, but I'm not gonna take my clothes off yet. <laughs> it's not gonna be the best scan, but it's gonna be the test. 
next. On the next step, a red laser will shine down from the mirror. No way! This is what? So move the scale so the laser hits the mark on the scale. No freaking way. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. This is so crazy. Here I was trying to measure to make sure I had it perfectly in line. Position the scale marker in the middle of your feet. Step on, you have six seconds, okay? Don't move or talk. scan, step off, but don't touch the scale for three seconds. It says there's a lot happening behind the scenes. Every scan is first processed in the mirror and then uploaded to the naked cloud and then downloaded onto your phone. The depth sensors capture four gigabytes of raw data that must be compiled in the mirror. Here's my body with all my clothes on. You can go in and check your measurements. My left arm, my right arm. Oh, this is a lot of information. So this is my first scan with clothes on. Oh my gosh, look at that hair. I mean, it picks up every little crease in the clothing. I can't even imagine what it's gonna pick up on the actual body. Here's all the views. This is nuts. Oh my gosh. Okay, now I need to find something to wear and scan my actual body. I'm sorry that you have to witness this, Jenna. Yeah. So now it's time to do the naked scan sort of naked. Not too excited about this, but we're gonna do it and see what happens. This is so detailed. <laughs> oh, look at this. You can tag good day, bad day, diet, special event. So this does really give you sort of an extreme accurate representation of where you started and where you are currently. What I really love about this is you're comparing yourself to yourself. Every body is different. People gain and lose weight differently. People gain muscle mass differently. So comparing yourself to someone else is really not a very fair comparison. With this, comparing yourself to yourself is one of the best ways to be able to track your fitness goals. Let me know what you guys do for fitness activities. Is it hiking? Is it running? Is it doing something else really cool? Let me know. I would love to hear from you guys. With that, um, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna go put this somewhere where it's not next to the shower and that's it. I'm gonna show you a thing. I'll see you later. Jen, do you wanna get naked? Yeah! Cool! Ooh! Thank you.